Hello and welcome to the New Jersey Pony Power Show. Jake's Branch Park, we're here. After two months of sheer misery with the Bermuda High, we finally have a nice day. Just about two months of sheer misery anyway. All right, we're just gonna stop off in the niche center for a little restroom break and then we're gonna be hitting the trails. All right, so we're in the, the trails, and unfortunately the pine flies, they're out. Uh, still, they're still with us, uh, so it's going to be a bad year with them because of all the heat we had. Oh, we'll just deal with them. Unfortunately, when I, I forgot my, um, the tactics people use to stop them, like putting uh, flypaper on a cap on the head. I wanted to try that, but I forgot the flypaper, so... Take a look at all these beautiful pitch pines, huh? Nothing but great shapes over here, man. Well, let's walk with walk with me through this piney wilderness that we love so much. Got the bracken ferns. A lot of bracken ferns here. It looks completely different now than it does in the uh, in the winter or the coolest season with all the bracken ferns. Burn areas. Um, bracken ferns love burn areas. They love them. So. You can always see them a lot, a lot of them here. I know you've seen these areas countless times, but I love them and I love showing them to you. I never get tired of showing them to you. Never. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous area over here. Look at all these delicious shapes. Uh -huh. A lot of butterflies. I'm seeing quite a few butterflies. Uh, well, I see these beautiful uh, blue, dark-colored butterflies. Someone flying by just a minute ago. All right, we're gonna head on over to the other area that I love so much. <laughs> And of course, if I see any more butterflies, well, I'm sure I will. I'll show them to you. And just nothing but great shapes here. Yep. Ah, oh, man. So nice to be here after... We were in a really bad weather pattern for two, two almost two months, so... We weren't getting any nice, cool, dry air. Finally, we got some today. So, it is nice walking weather. Here's a classic example of what happens after a fire. See the young pitch pine sprouts growing in there? Right around the uh, trunk of an old pine there that... Uh... Now, they, do, they do control burns over here in New Jersey, as you know, so... That's part of the reason why it's so piney here. Because pine barrens are, and I'll say it over and over again, an ecosystem that is not only adapted to fire, it needs fire to survive. Yeah, look at those great shapes, huh? Yeah, look at that scene, huh? Yeah, the flies are moderately bad. I mean, they're, they've been with me. They're bothering me. <laughs> Let's just say it that way. Yeah, well, you know you're going to be dealing with pine flies when you come to the Pine Barrens in August. Just saw, I think, a pine grows back. Uh, I don't know. By the time I got the camera out, he flew away. <laughs> a lot of birds out. Well, the birds, the play, pine flies, as annoying as they are, they're food for birds and stuff. So, that's the thing. See, there's a bird over there. Let's see if we can... They're all over the place. Yeah, I can see the pine flies. One on the camera, believe it or not. <laughs> Look at that. He's like 
Let's see if I can. <laughs> right on the camera. Yeah, look at that, huh? Yeah, you see the top of my head? See the pine flies? Yeah, you should see that. <laughs> I feel like I'm the center of an atom. Uh, that's what I call a classic. Unfortunately, we missed most of the summer wildflowers because the weather has been bad for the past, uh, you know, we felt like eons. <laughs> yeah, look at these great shapes, huh? Oh, there's a dragonfly. Seen a lot of dragonflies out, too. We got a lot of activity here today, so. Should get some good pictures of that. Yeah, look at those beauties, huh? Oh yeah, that's what it's all about right there, let me tell you. The classic scenes like that, man. I love these areas. You know I love these areas. This is my favorite area, actually. Right? Got the reindeer lichen. Love desert-like areas. I just love deserts, man. That's where it's at, man. Oh, it's just a carpet of reindeer lichen here. That. It's amazing, huh? It's just nothing. Oh, there's a that looked like a little butterfly. I don't know. They're fast. That's the problem. Very hard to get still pictures of them in video because they're so fast. Kind of butterflies fly long distances. The monarchs come from Mexico, so they really uh, fly a very long distance to get here. So, yeah, they're, they can fly pretty long distances. They're pretty fast, pretty strong flyers. You wouldn't think so, but they are. Ah, darn it. There's a bird there, it's, and the camera didn't focus right away. The problem is the harsh sunlight of summer really, sometimes it's difficult to really, you know, get the camera to, uh, you know, focus in on something small in a tree like that. Yeah, look at that, huh? Gorgeous, huh? Take a look at that, huh? Yeah, look at those beauties, huh? Let's work our way down to the main trail here. I just kind of... You always know, just... You know, you know, there's so many great scenes. You just go off the trail, you see some amazing, amazing scenes. You know. It's amazing, you know. Another beauty. One thing that helps if you want to get your exposures right in a bright, you know, in the bright summer sunshine. If you have a camera, you can adjust your aperture, close it up, raising the f-stop number to like around 5.6. That way, you, it'll keep the exposure. It's, uh, it's, it works a little better doing that. So, little photography tip that I'll offer as a pine fly circles me again. It's all about those great shapes, man. I'll tell you. I'm not going to go any further past here because getting closer to a wet area, flies could be a little worse. They're already starting to get a little worse. But key is to move slow. I think if you move slowly, the faster you move, the more track. They're attracted to movement, actually. So if you move around a little more slowly, they won't be on you so fast. Yeah, look at all those delicious shapes, huh? Kind of kneeling down here just to get to show this to you. This that one over there is a beauty. Look at that one, huh? Yeah, look at those great shapes, huh? Got another beauty right here next to it. Yeah. Yes, this is what it's all about right here, man, I'll tell you.
these desert-like areas. Another pine fly. Pine flies are pretty bad, I'll say, but I'm still having a great time. It's worth it's worth donating a little blood to the pine barrens, right? Yeah, look at this, huh? Let me get that exposure right. Hold. Yeah, this camera can do exposure and video, so it's a huge advantage here. Camera being used for this video, by the way, is the SX260. So, yeah. A lot of people. This is just uh, really showcase the beauty here, you know. You don't need some big fancy SLR, that's for sure. Yeah, look at that, huh? Oh, look at all those great shapes, huh? You can see every summer we get new cones on the trees. Where I wanted to show you that. Yeah, there's a fresh one right there. Let's see. Uh, unopened, serotonous. I think that's a fresh one. Oh no, that's not it. This is it right here. Yeah. Yeah, green. That's the new growth of cones. Yeah, nothing but great shapes. And pine flies. This one. Yeah. Yeah, look at those shapes, huh? Wow, I can't believe it's still some male cones left from the spring. Wow. Usually they usually fall off all of them by now, but sometimes not. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you something that I started walking away. Now this isn't all reindeer lichen. I believe uh, this here is reindeer, reindeer lichen, but this over here, that's thorn lichen. It's just a little slightly shade of darker green, but the design of both lichens is very similar to each other, but it's a very subtle difference. Yeah, look at those great shapes, huh? Yeah. So I've got lots of blackjack oaks around here, too. Yeah, it's sun angle is so high up there. It's just so it's very harsh light if, it, if you're, you have to know how to work it as a, uh, you know, photographer, you know. Uh, pine flies. Yeah. I mean, they start moving, they start attacking you. When you're standing still, they don't bother you. But when they start moving, then they start attacking you. Hopefully you can hear them buzzing around. Hopefully. To get the feeling of what it's like to deal with pine flies. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Alright, we're gonna cross over into the section that is technically not part of Jake's branch, but part of Double Trouble, but I consider it Jake's branch, so that's all that matters. As long as I consider it Jake's branch, it's Jake's branch, right? <laughs> right? Uh... Well, of course, as we head this way, the flies are probably gonna get worse. I don't know how far we're gonna. I can deal with a couple, but once you get a swarm. Uh, I don't know if I want to deal with that. Yeah, a lot of beauties in this spot. Uh. Nothing but great shapes here. I love this spot. Got the, uh, I got it manually set, so... Look at this. All right, I'm going to continue on. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way to the power lines. That's by a, the Cedar Creek. There'll probably be a lot of flies there, so we're going to have to see how far we can get going this way before the flies get really bad. I'm going to go slow, though, right? So I'm hoping that'll keep... Oh, there's a pine warbler. Yeah, right there. Looks like a pine warbler.
Yeah, there's a fly right above me there. Think you're buzzing? Should be able to hear him. Yeah. Cow killer, cow killer. They crawl fast. <laughs> it's a wasp that looks like an ant that's red. And its sting, well, how it's got the name is because the sting is so painful it could kill a cow. That's uh, how they came up with the name. I'm not kidding. Ah, oh, no, there's some crap in the sky. Well, we've got a lot of pictures, so I actually got most of my pictures. Actually, when I get over here, I'm going to turn around. So. But I'm still going to shoot video. Not done yet that yet. Yeah, you can see the crap is starting to move in a little bit. They said it would be clear today, but uh, I guess one of my models said there might be some clouds by the afternoon. It's only around noon. Just about 12, just about. So. Ah, look at those beauties, though. It's fine here. Looks fine over here. Ah, and that one, too, huh? Take a look at all these lichens over here. Now, you got the pixie cups, pixie cup lichen, uh, and then if you look closely, you see some red spots. That's British soldier lichen. There's a whole micro world here in the Pine Barrens. You know, it's amazing. Yeah, there's a nice clump of British soldier lichen for you. Now, that's a really nice British soldier lichen. Yeah, look at those great shapes, huh? Alright, we're going to head back this way now. I don't think I'm going to go around the loop. We're going to just go here. Let's see what we can get. Huh. Some more beauties. Yeah, see so you got the blackjacks. Yeah, nothing but great shapes here. Yeah. Nothing but great shapes, huh? Sky's still staying clear. We still got some good skies, so. Again, you see all the uh, new cones on there. Yeah, let's see if we can get it really close there. Take a look at this moss. You have these different mosses here, you know. You have mosses, you have all kinds of interesting stuff right along the ground here. You know. Of course, all those great sh And that is the little witch's room. Yeah, look at these great shapes, huh? Yeah, look at those beauties, huh? Get a little closer. Such beautiful scenery, huh? Absence does make the heart grow fonder. <laughs> Alright, we're entering back into uh, the Jake's Branch. Because that part is technically double trouble. Though I do consider it Jake's Branch because it's cut off from the rest of double trouble by a Cedar Creek. So. Uh, just so many great shapes, huh? And there's also a Pine Barren Tether. You should know the type of plants you're going to see in this area. Uh, pitch pines, of course, pine barrens, heather, huckleberries, reindeer lichen, and thorn lichen generally like these desert like areas. Cow killer, cow killer. Yep, she could kill a cow. They go mad fast. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, there's some beauties over there, huh? That is a witch's broom over there. It's a pretty big one, too. Yeah, it's a better look at it. Pine fly circles me. 
Yeah, look at those shapes, huh? See all that pine barren feather? Yep, you sure do. Ah, oh, somebody left that there. Oh, look at those great shapes. Gotta love those classics, huh? And of course, there's never getting away from the crazy. And look at all those beauties, huh? Yep. All about those classics, man. Where is it? It's a huge cow killer right there. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. That's a big one. Cow killers are pretty common in the Pine Barrens. Not sure what these flowers are. That was a pretty big cow killer. Very hard to get a still picture because they move so fast. Oh, well, yeah, I got, I got a few. Hopefully you enjoyed the video of it. Yeah, we're exiting the trails now. Yeah, the sky's starting to haze up a little bit with the upper levels. It's just slight, very thin of clouds, but it, you know, hazes up the sky a little bit. But hey, we got, we got it over, let's see. We got it a little over three hours here, which is pretty good before the clouds rolled in. But this funny part show isn't done yet because I want to show you the, uh, going to the nature center. There's a whole bunch of flowers around the lake. We're gonna look for some butter. Oh, here we go. As I said, butterflies. There's one right over there. All right, I got something nice to show you. So, butterfly weed. Yes, the butterflies love butterfly weed. That's why they call it butterfly weed. Look at all those butterflies. Well, unfortunately, we got closer. They flew away, but hopefully they'll be back. So, I don't remember this spot here. It's weird. Yeah. Butterflies love butterfly weed. Yep, there's a dragonfly. Got a lot of dragonflies. This is a good spot. They got this little lake. This is artificial, but... It still attracts all the dragonflies and the butterflies and things like that. This is a really nice one over here. Look at this one. Take a look at that beautiful dragonfly, huh? Many different species. I'm not sure what kind this is. We got two. If you look really closely, where is it? There's a butterfly there. Not sure what kind that is. It's a small one. Isn't this amazing? They like this plant too a lot. Nothing but great shapes as far as the eye can see. There's the Lake Hurst Hangar. That antenna you see all the way over there, that's by the Ocean County Mall, I believe. The big tower on Indian Hill. Yeah, look at that, huh? 
nothing but an ocean of pines. See, look at that. Look at that. Temperature 78. And it's dry. See the low humidity? Ah, oh, that's what I like. This is just the kind of air mass. This is the perfect air mass for summer right here. Sorry, folks. Those who like the heat and humidity, you can have it. I like, I like these kind of conditions. Alright, let's look at the butterflies here. I'll show you. I think this is the, these are the butterflies we saw, the very common ones we saw flying around the butterfly weeding all those flowers. Alright? This is what I mistake for a corner blue, but it's actually called an Easter tail blue. It's very, it looks similar to, to corner blue. And I think we saw that. And I think we saw this silver spotted skipper too. Um, they have all different kinds here. So, of course, the one we're all familiar with, the monarch. That is a hummingbird over there. He's in the shade, unfortunately, so it's kind of hard for me to... <laughs> they tried to get in and look at the window. You got hummingbirds here, too. Lots of them. They're very fast, so they're very hard to keep track of. Hummingbird. No, they seem to like the shady one, which is hard for me to get a picture. In the shade. Well, I hope you enjoyed this New Jersey Piney Power Show. It's about wraps it up. I'm gonna head on out. Beautiful day. Got to see a lot today. What can I tell you? Always something different. Anyway, thank you for watching and remember, it's all about those great shapes.